Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. My name is Paul Toe. We're going to have a look at what is in this brown box. This is a Ubiquiti access point. This is the U7 Pro. So this is the Wireless 7 access point from Ubiquiti, one of the first in this range. Um, this is the item here. We'll have a look at that at the moment, but this is a box opening, all right? It is not a technical. There's plenty of other YouTubers who've done uh, technical reviews and speed tests. We do have speed test results that will be published in due course on our website, uh, thetechgeeks.com, if you want to have a check that out. But this is about showing you what is in the box, give you a feel for the size and everything else that goes with it. All right, so let's start. You are going to get your little conformity guide. There you go. Probably might not even come out of the packet. Now, you get quite a lot, which is, which is good. Let me just go through. So this uses the Ubiquiti Universal Mount. Um, for the access points. So as a result, you get three main parts to it. So you're going to get your uh, cutout or drilling guide there with a, a level on it. All right. And then you're going to get your two metal plates. So this is the metal plate that's going to be fitted to the ceiling. Let me just hold that up so you can actually have a look. Um, and then on this side here. All right. This is designed for a whole bunch of the different um, ubiquity access points, hence all the different drilling holes. But you mount that up onto the ceiling, all right, and then you bring your device up to this here and circularly clip it into place. So that's how you're going to put it onto a hard surface. You're going to use that. If you then have a uh, false ceiling, you know, ceiling track and ceiling tiles, um, then you could put this metal plate above. All right, I'll show you in a minute. You're going to get some bolts and everything that goes with it. Uh, put that around together like that. That's going to then sandwich between where you've got your uh, tile in between there. And then again, you can bring your device up and uh, mount it to it there. So to make all of that possible, you are going to have a packet of uh, long bolts there. That's to go through your ceiling. If you just completely want to fit this to your ceiling track, so your ceiling grid, um, then you uh, get a, a couple of uh, clips that those just um, pop over the, uh, the rail and snap into place. You are going to get uh, some further screw options there to hold it in place and another packet of screws and lugs to be able to put that straight on to your uh, hard surface. You then get a little packet of release tools. We've got a um, bung up this end, um, which will show you where that fits in a minute. You've got your quick release tool or your little push tool here, which I'll show you how that works. Um, and you've got a hexagonal tool there as well. So this is the U7 Pro. It's an interesting device. Let me talk to you about it in a moment. Let's show you uh, everything that we've got at it. There we've got at the front, obviously in the true traditional ubiquity style, we've got our um, LEDs status will show round here. Um, then on the back, right, not an actual lot to show you and try and see if I can angle that. Here we have, uh, there we go, can I do that right for you? Yeah, we go, there's our ethernet port. Now this is a 2.5 gigabit a second ethernet port along with one gigabit. So it will support both of them. Still needs PoE, so obviously you do make sure if you're using a 2.5 gigabit a second port that you have either a PoE injector that supports 2.5 gigabits a second or you'll plug straight into a switch that supports it. Here we look like we have a, a cooling vent um, and then we've got a reset button up the end. Then as I talked about, this is a cable in option. If you're not hard surface mounting this and the cable going straight up and you want to pull through here, um, then obviously I said that just in here was a little bung there, uh, bring that into focus, a little bung there that would allow that to stop and just tidy it up so that you maybe didn't get ants or other uh, things come in there. Interestingly, in this model, uh, many of the pros and that we would actually have sort of a humidity bung in there. There isn't that included in this box. So what is this? All right, it supports wireless 7 and it supports the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, the 5 gigahertz frequency and the 6 gigahertz frequency. The only thing though with this is it is only a 2 by 2. All right, so this is really interesting, two antennas, two um, radios. So actually, the, although the throughput is quite high for this, um, technically on the, the six gigahertz band and the, um, so in wireless seven and wireless six, you should be able to get up to potentially 5.7 gigabits a second, all right? 
but it won't support as many devices as say a U6 LR will, which is a four x four, it has more spatial streams. So in total, this only supports six spatial streams, whereas currently the U6 LR, so the wireless six, although it doesn't support the six gigahertz range, um, actually has eight spatial streams. So technically uh, handles more clients with a greater throughput. Size wise, all right, it is actually almost identical. This is a, uh, one of the original AC Pros, and this is the uh, U7 Pro, so actually not too much difference in size. And again, like I said, because they use the universal fitting uh, bracket, um, if you've already got this mounted on the ceiling, this fits, uh, as you can see, in an AC Pro, and it fits here as well in the U7. So, like I said, this is a box opening. Um, a good, solid construction, all right? Um, a good option if you are considering wireless seven, but maybe more importantly, you're wanting to try and get uh, into the six gigahertz frequency and maybe don't want to buy the U6 Enterprise. Um, so this is a good start. And you want to do maybe multi-gig. So you want to get some faster speed here, but do remember you're going to need a switch that supports 2.5 uh, gigabits a second. This is also PoE powered, a PoE plus powered and needs about 21 watts of power. So do make sure that you have a port that supports that as well. Hopefully that's been useful. Not meant to be a big technical overview, but is meant to show you what is in the box for this Ubiquiti U7 Pro. Head on over to our YouTube channel. We've got plenty more box openings on network, firewall, and wireless devices. Why don't you subscribe and stay up to date?